hello hello welcome back my sweethearts if you're new here welcome are you ready for this easy exposed side braid crochet hairstyle you guys stay tuned don't go nowhere and I'll show you just how to get this done subscriber of the week goes to and I thank you okay sweethearts I took the liberty of braiding my hair last night just to save some time I did um, you know I braided these really really well I connected them in the back I just have five braids in the back and then I'm going to connect these um, into my hair I prefer using a crochet needle instead of putting a bobby pin or adding some uh, string you know in the back of my hair to tie it up this will stay as you guys know, I am so familiar with Bahama Curl. I got this from my local beauty supply store in 1B. You can get it in any color you like. You know, I, I love Bahama Curl. You can even go swimming with this hair and it'll still look good when you're done. With each piece, all I'm gonna do is separate them one time. That'll be the perfect consistency for this hairstyle. There's three methods to this hairstyle. You know, the, the first one, we're gonna loop it through. We're gonna see how I wrap my finger around there once and then I'm gonna wrap it twice and then just pull it through one time. That's the first method, so easy, so simple. Since this hair is long, it's not gonna uh, unravel or come through. Now the second method, we're gonna pull through. We're gonna do the first thing. We're gonna wrap it once, then we're gonna wrap it twice, but then we're gonna separate each hair to like tie it in like a knot. So that is the second method. So the third method, I'll show you in the in the in, in no in the middle of the video. Since this hair is long, remember you really don't have to tie it that you know that many times. It's gonna stay. You know, um, the longer you keep it in your hair, you know, some of the hair will get a little frizzy, just a little bit, not too much, but then it'll give it enough room to not come out your hair. So uh, that's why I like actually this hair a lot. Sweethearts, this hair did not take me that long at all. It only took me a good 45 minutes. That's it. So simple, so easy. Okay, sweethearts, the third method. I am going to uh, wrap my finger around it one time and then tie it in a knot, just like that. That's I know for sure that's secure. If you miss the first and second step, go ahead and do the third step. That's that's how I uh, came up with the, the third step is I missed my fingers on the first and second and then just was like, you know what, let's just tie it in a knot. And it stayed even longer with that third method. So check those out. My sweethearts, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. For my nine braiders, the great thing about this is you can use a weave cap and you can still crochet your hair in here. Ask somebody, if you really want the braid look, ask somebody to braid the open exposure part for you. Or you can even just twist them up. Twist it and it'll still look great. So on this part, make sure you're crocheting directly on the edges of this crochet to make sure you're covering up the back braids for the exposure part. If you have to, put some extra pieces there just to, you know, cover up the back part. But look, it's coming together beautifully, you guys. All products that I'm using will be listed in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Okay, sweetheart, shake your hair to make sure the hair falls into place. You don't want to keep pulling your hair out, you know, pulling it down when you're cutting. Just shake it up and it'll fall into place because every time you're moving or do whatever you're doing throughout the days and the weeks, it's going to fall. So just make sure when you're um, about to cut, shake it up really, really tough and then start cutting downward. Do not, do not cut straight. Do not cut uh, from left to right. You need to cut downward. Ah, you see that beautiful bounce? Loving it. 
sweetheart. Y'all know I love my leave outs. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab some gel and we're gonna twist our natural hair in with the crochet hair. And then throughout the days or the weeks or however you, how long you keep the hair in, you can be able to pull your natural hair out and it'll be curly just like the crochet hair. That's the whole point here. But we're gonna um, put some edge control on them as well so it can blend in well. That's why I like them. I like the blend in. It looks so great. I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, sweethearts, it is edge time, so go ahead and get your favorite edge control and get to slaying. So all we're gonna do is put our scarf on, wait 15 to 20 minutes just until it's dry and then finito. And these are the final results, you guys. Wow, I am in awe. I love the way how the exposure braids on the side are giving this crochet hairstyle a new look. Look at the blend. See how the blend is blending with the blend? <laughs> no, you guys, I really enjoy this hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Don't forget to like, comment, most definitely share, and please subscribe. I'm waiting on you. I love you, even if I don't know you. I'll see you guys next time.